Hey guys, so on the right here we have a new Firebase database and on the left we have FireStation and I'm just going to demo some of the features for you. So let's just go ahead and create a user collection. So we'll do insert into users, we'll need props, so we'll call them name, level, and date created, and then they need values. So for name we'll choose Joe because that's my name, for level we'll pick 99 because I'm awesome, and then we need a date string. So let's open up the console and make a new date. Let's copy this date string and then paste it into FireStation. Then we'll just go ahead and execute the query. And we're going to commit, and then you can see it automatically created this user's collection with this object that I pushed. And if we want to see that in FireStation, we'll just do select star from users like you would in SQL. And we can choose, achieve the same thing by just doing users. So it'll do the select star by default on any collection. Um, if we update this value here, 99, you can see in FireStation that it'll update in real time. And then if we update it in FireStation, we can see that it's actually going to update in Firebase as well. Um, one of the problems here is this level is misspelled. Um, we can't really edit it in the Firebase console. So in FireStation, we can just click the, val the key, update it, and then we'll hit OK. And you can see it deleted the old property and created a new one. Um, so one of the reasons that we made this was because it was really hard to debug when we had a bad record. Um, in our logs, so it's really hard to find them. Let's go ahead and create something we want to find. So let's call it needle in a haystack. We'll make him level 98, and we'll update the level prop to be spelled correctly. Go ahead and commit that record. Okay, so what you'd usually want to do to find this record is just you hit the page, you go ahead and expand the data, and you control F and look for needle in a haystack. And that's really easy to find when there's only two records. But if there's thousands of records, it's actually very difficult because it takes a ton of time to load the page. So let's simulate having a ton of users, and let's just inject a ton with FireStation. So we'll change the name to clone, and let's go ahead and change the level to 1. And we'll say they join the next day, so make it the 23rd. Uh, all we have to do now is just add whatever number of users you want. So let's go ahead and make it 1,000, and hit execute. You can see it's about to insert 1,000 records into Firebase. And then over in the console, we can see that they're all getting injected. So if we want to find our needle in the haystack, we're going to have to expand the data. So let's click that. And we can see it's starting to chug. So let's go over to FireStation and try to find it in the meantime. So all we have to do is do select star from users, where name is like. And like is kind of like a regex operator. This percent here is a wildcard. So we'll find anyone that starts with anything and then ends in Neatland. We found our record. And we can see over here on the console that it's still trying to expand the data. And it can't even display it. So it would be very hard to actually find this record when you can't even expand it. So it crashed. <laughs> let's go ahead and kill that. And let's refresh the page. So that's definitely a problem. It's one of the most important things about FireStation. Next, let's go ahead and update some records. So I'll go ahead and click this update users query that I've saved. And you can see that it says update users set sword equal to true, where date joined is before September 22nd. So anyone who joined before September 22nd, they'll get a sword prop equal to true. So we'll click it, and we can see that it won't update anything because they actually joined on September 22nd. So we want to include the day of by doing less than we to. So now we can see it's going to update too. We'll hit commit, and we can see that it updated the two records that had joined before September 23rd to these two, these two objects. The next thing I want to show you is pretty cool. Essentially, when you do a query on FireStation, it will live update the results. So let's turn this into a select statement. So we can do users where date join, and we see that we have these two records. But if we change it so it no longer satisfies it, so let's change this from September 22nd to 23rd, you can see that the result disappears. And then if we change it to, once again, satisfy it, the 20th, it comes back, which is pretty awesome. So this can be really useful if you want to watch online users or something like that. I think that's everything I wanted to show, so if you guys want to download the app or contribute, you can visit at firestation.io. Thanks.